What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Money Mark J back with another video. And guys, I'm extremely excited today. I'm very happy. Um, today will be the launch of the 150 gallon aquarium do it yourself stand. Um, before I get into this video, shouts out to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Um, I encourage uh, anybody else who, who is not subscribed to is watching this video to please go ahead and hit the, the subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, have any questions, comments, or whatever, just share them with me. Have no problem with that at all. And uh, again, thank you to all my subscribers. So, um, into the video, as you guys can see, I got my laptop out here. And this is, uh, um, I will uh, give this website out to anybody who is wanting to build an aquarium stand. This is a very helpful website. Um, it's called fishandtips.com, as you can see right here. Um, basically, it's a website that I found off Google that um, you can scroll down and you can hit do it yourself stand. And as you click into it, it's going to ask you the length of the tank, width of the tank, height of the tank, height of the stand, add a half inch on each side of the tank for position, safety, and what drawings and steps would you like to see, frame, frame and shell, frame shell, and finishing product. So let's just say the length of my stand was 60 inches. Let's put that in. The width of my stand, 24 inches. The height of my stand, I want it to be 45 inches. I'm sorry, height of the tank, 24 inches. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Height of the stand, 45 inches. I would like to add a half inch on each side of the tank for precision safety. Strongly recommend it. I'll go ahead and click that. And it gives you three different steps. You can actually hit just for the frame, frame and shell, or frame, shell, and finish. All right, so once we got that information in, we'll go ahead and scroll down and hit submit. Now, what it'll do is step one, two, and three, it gives you options right here. It will tell you uh, what kind of pieces you will be needing. Now, this website automatically gives you pieces, uh, four by four pieces. It says four by four is recommended for the tank size that I want or that I need. Um, now, there is a lot of, of other uh, websites out there, uh, ReCentral, and different ones that um, people you know say don't use four by fours use two by fours two by sixes depending on the tank size and guys I, I really don't think there's a right or wrong way on this one um, now I'm, I, this is my first time building a stand but I think you know wood is wood studs are studs but um, anyway this website gives you four by fours um, it tells you how, what size to cut it at um, how many pieces you're gonna need the total length the cost per foot and the uh, approximate total cost. Now this cost of course is around average of different lumber yards and different stores like that. But it kind of gives you a blueprint uh, of how much you're gonna be paying for each part of the tank that you're gonna be building or the stand that you're gonna be building. So it tells you the top base, top base, pole legs, um, it tells you to get angle brackets. And what's cool about this website also, as you scroll on this right here and click, it's going to give you, oh, I'm sorry, I should click over here probably. There we go. It's going to pop up and actually show you a picture of what you can add or how it looks. And it gives you a little information. These angle brackets will hold the frame together so it is much stronger. Screw them in each angle um, of the frame. Now, again, it gives you visual aid and it also gives you all the information that you need and also, again, the price. So, and as you can scroll down even more, it gives you just an overall view of uh, the front and back view of how it would look. The, they, they give you the dimensions, they give you the sizes, they give you everything you need right here. So this is a great website to have. Again, this is just a skeleton part of it. And you go to step two, which we won't go yet because I'm not there. But anyway, we're gonna be at step one. And um, again, I'm not the type of guy to uh, look at somebody's example or use a guide and do exactly as they say. Um, I'm going to use the guide as an example, but also add my own little thing into it. Um, be more creative. And um, I did run into an issue already. Um, actually, 
let's go over here. I did run into an issue. Uh, the issue that I had was one, the four by fours uh, that I looked on purchasing was around six dollars for an eight foot stud. Um, and the four by four that Lowe's only had at the time uh, was uh, treated wood. Now, as I went to Lowe's last night, um, I asked some questions and I was asking, well, what's wrong with treated wood? What's the difference between treated wood and regular wood? And uh, the guy told me that treated wood is really, really only supposed to be used outside. And um, because the fumes and, 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 and chemicals that they put in the wood, um, basically uh, what he told me was kind of for pest and, and, and different reasons. And um, basically you really don't want that inside your house and it's not really healthy for you. Um, and especially me having a little daughter, I don't want her, you know, getting into the aquarium, playing with it and I don't know, I, I, probably biting on the wood, you know how kids are. Um, so, so I was like, okay, well, I don't need to get treated wood. Um, and then I noticed that the price was like I say, six, seven dollars for an eight, uh, an eight foot piece of stud. And the two by four that was there was two dollars and seventy four cents, I believe, for an eight piece stud. Um, so basically, you know, the two by fours was a lot cheaper um, than the uh, original four by fours. And um, as you guys know, if you if you've been to Lowe's and got some wood cut. Uh, the guy told me he couldn't even cut the 4x4 wood because the machine that they have was not even capable of cutting it. So, and they were able to cut the 2x4s for me. So, uh, Walt, if you're watching this video, shouts out to you, Walt. Um, I did, I do talk bad about uh, stores like Lowe's or Home Depot because, um, you know, a lot of the times these days you get to a store where people uh, work and they don't know what they're talking about. They just work there for the money, of course. But Walt was a guy who helped me out last night. He knew what he was talking about. I do appreciate your help, Walt, and I'm um, giving you a shout out if you are watching this video. Holler at me when you want that tank set up too, all right? But uh, but anyway, so I went with two by fours. Let's put this computer down right here. Show you guys what I went with. I went with two by fours, and this is my little uh, collection of wood right here. 61 inches, uh, 37 inches, and um, 22 inches. And as we put this thing together, I'll show you guys, I'll stop. And I'll show you guys how I put it together um, from start to finish, all right? So, uh, guys, stay tuned. Um, I will show you the screws and everything I used also, all right? Stay tuned. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach all of my, um, my, my, my 61 inches of wood with my 22 inches of wood right here. Um, and how I'm going to attach that is by using this wood glue. As you guys can see right here, almost wood glue. I'm gonna put it in the crack here between these two, and then I'm gonna join it with a screw that you see right here, from this angle to that angle. Um, and the screws that I'm using, as you can see right here, for all those carpenters out there, that's the screws that I'm using. So I'll get together and I will do this base of the um, stand. And as you guys can see, I'm building around my refugium some just to make sure that everything looks well uh, everything goes well and just you know if there's any issues that I run into I can fix as I go alright peace alright well I got the basic uh, rectangle shape all put together here going across here the end part go all the way back around now what I'm going to do I'm going to add another piece of 2x4 up against here more support of course same thing on the insides this piece will be pushed over that piece in the back will be brought up here and that piece will be brought over here all right so as you guys can see I have the uh, bottom uh, construction uh, finish piece of construction finish and this will be the top part of the aquarium stand right here as you guys can see that's finished and ready to go Next, I am going to mount <coughs> my legs on the bottom of the stand here. So, as you guys see, I have my legs, which is starting from right here, going up right here, um, which is uh, actually, I believe it's 37 inches uh, long. 37 inches, as you can see, the person that knows kind of, you know, 
didn't cut it straight or even, but that's not a problem. I'm not worried about that. Um, and how I can, I'm can connect these legs to the stand is I have some pieces of two by four that I have going all the way down to the bottom right here, bottom of the ground, which is screwed in to the base and going up here and screwed into this part right here. So basically it's gonna connect from right here and um, I have another one just like it right here going up. <clears throat> and what's gonna happen is this is already screwed in. I'm gonna screw a piece of two by four right here to kind of give us some more support. And I might just put another piece of two by four right here um, for something in the future. I, I have to think about that as I go. But anyway, what will happen is that part over there that you see will sit on top of here screws will go in here and the same thing how I have down here giving it more support I'm going to put on this side right here so uh, stay tuned on how the legs come out all right peace all right guys so as you, you can see we're back and I went ahead and put the top of the frame um, on top of the legs of course I installed all the legs first um, and as I noted earlier, I took off the two by fours here that were going across from this way to that way and also the ones in the back uh, basically because didn't didn't really need it and uh, I didn't really want the uh, stand to be that wide um, from the tank when I set the tank on top you know, uh, the, the tank I mean the stand from right here right here is measuring 25 inches didn't really need an extra you know a couple of inches here and a couple of inches there didn't really need it um, no need for it so I went ahead and took it off and then I was I went ahead and put a 2x4 flush um, going all the way down going to the top here put it up against the legs here for extra support so the stand is basically constructed um, now my next step that I'm going to be doing is I'm putting, I'm designing a, a, some, some more studs here um, to give it some more support and also give it the, uh, the, 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 the framing for the doors. Um, I'm going to be mounting the doors, one door right here, one door right there. Um, this little section right here is just going to be like a little design. Uh, basically, well I'll show you guys that later on when I get to it, but I have the same uh, design over here on this side. Uh, five inches, 16 and three quarters, 16 and three quarters, and five inches again. So that's how the front of it's going to be. The back of it, I'm just going to put two uh, studs in the back. I'll show that also. And uh, the way how I'm going to connect these uh, studs right here is with these angle brackets that I have. I bought from those. They were a couple bucks each, as you guys can see. Let's see if I can get out the light here. So you guys can see that, which ones they are. Uh, basically, I'm just going to be screwing two down at the, the bottom, right here, and two at the top. And what this is going to do, again, it's going to add more support for the stand. And um, once I have all these 2 by 4 studs um, in place, uh, part one or step one of the stand will be completed. All right, so I will show you guys a quick little video of it when it's all done. All right, peace. Okay, guys, so I'm happy to announce that the stand skeleton is finally completed. Um, as you guys can see, the angle brackets are in, connected on each side for added support. <clears throat> and um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the way how it's coming out right now. You can see the door patterns right there coming out already. Um, it's going to be some big doors, but uh, all, all this is done for the protein skimmer right there. And you guys can see how much room I actually have in here. Uh, top right here, I can reach in. I can, um, you know, easily, if I can take this top off with one hand here. Let's see here. Here we go. I can easily take the protein skimmer cap off. I can easily get down inside the whole protein skimmer. Um, right here just being on my knees so cleaning the protein skimmer won't be a problem uh, the tank man the, the tank I know it's not gonna be a problem with this stand because this stand is crazy sturdy as you guys can see I'm trying to shake it right now and it's barely moving um, so I'm, I'm, I'm real happy with the, the construction of everything and how it all came out as you can see the back just has some regular uh, 2x4 studs just braced across here 
Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy, guys. So uh, the next video, we'll get into uh, step two, and we'll be wrapping the whole uh, tank and um, doing all that fun stuff. So if you guys have any questions about the stand or if it's something that I didn't show or mention while doing this, please feel free to let me know. Um, you know, all you guys watching the videos, guys, subscribe. I actually thought this was going to be a hard project, but it's really, really easy. Uh, only thing I'm using is the the cheap Black and Decker uh, screw screw gun, drill drill gun, and um, some screws and some wood. You know, and an imagination. That's all you need to have, all right? So, uh, Money Mark J. Back back here, and um, uh, I'll let you guys later. All right. I need that creator.